for you? What's your immediate reaction to, to this result? Um, I just think we're all very upset um, with the result, obviously. Um, yeah, so that's the first reaction. Talk us through the, the penalty incident and sort of how um, that um, Yeah, I just watched it back as well because I knew this question was going to come, obviously. Um, yeah, I think I was a second too late and then my tackle was not perfect and that's when I hit her and yeah, you know with the VAR that of course they are going to get the penalty, so yeah. How tough has it been for you at this tournament? There's been an awful lot that's been thrown at this Dutch team with the Covid cases and the injuries as well. It, it has been a very difficult tournament for you, hasn't it? Yeah, it was tough. Um, like you said, a lot of injuries and some Covid cases. Um, but I felt like it also brought us closer together as a team and that's also sometimes something you need in a tournament to to grow and be better um, but I still think there's a lot of room for improvement and you know now we have a lot of experience from this tournament with a lot of also young girls and it's good for them to to get some uh, some tournament experience so hopefully we can just take this with us you know in the upcoming years and next year there it's gonna be another big event hopefully we will qualify for it but um, yeah I think we just you know, we were just trying to look forward right now. Yeah, I was going to say, there's not long until another big tournament. Obviously, you guys made the final last time. You know, there's lots of positives, I guess, to focus on and, and to take in this tournament. Yeah, if you look at it uh, that way, of course, uh, there is. But I think the main emotions right now is just that we're very upset and, you know, just disappointed with the result. And just finally, what message have you got for the fans? Because, again, they've been amazing this tournament, haven't they, for you guys? Yeah, they really felt like the 12th person on the pitch and I think it's crazy that the, always the Dutch people, they, they show up and they show um, how to party and, and how to support the country and I'm very proud of that. Thank can you I, can very I just much. ask you about Daphne's performance? I think it was 10, 11 saves in the end. How, how bright is her future? Yeah, I think it was you know, very unfortunate for Sari, but she took her chance and after the game I also just went to her and just said that she had a brilliant performance. and. I'm just really proud and it's also exciting to see that we have you know, a, a good, good goalie behind Sari. So, yeah, it's very exciting for her, obviously, yeah. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you. Thank Immediate emotions, disappointment, obviously. Yeah, for sure. Uh, we expected much from this tournament. We were really excited to go through. Uh, France did a good game. Uh, sometimes football is like this. Uh, one action can change everything. and. It's sad for the team. I think we're, we've been working really hard and now we have to go back home. But I think we did good stuff. They're one of the best teams in the world. There's so much young talent coming through with the Netherlands. Is the future bright for this team? Yeah, for sure. That's the thing we have to stick to now. I think we have lots of talent and lots of young people. Uh, we have to work on it, of course. Uh, there's a lot of good teams, as we could see today. So, yeah, I'm really hopeful for all the young ones to come up and stand up also. And just a quick word on your goalkeeper. It seemed like an amazing performance from Daphne. How would you... Yeah, it's not really surprising for me. I've seen her train. Uh, she's amazing. Uh, really calm also. She's really young and she just came up in, in a tournament like this and just did her own stuff. So I'm really happy for her also. I think it's a good way to start her career also.